Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. This is the ISO GOAT here back again for another quick video. Let me start this by saying I'm not a financial advisor, nor is this financial advice whatsoever. Do not invest in anything solely based off my opinions or anything that I say in this video until you've done your own due diligence and your own research first. Never throw in more money than you're willing to lose. And also make sure you have a firm understanding of crypto before throwing in any kind of money. I hope you guys are enjoying your week thus far. Uh, happy Tuesday, wherever you are. Just want to give you guys kind of some updates. It'll be a very quick video today. Shout out to the Prepared Homestead. Just want to give you guys updates on some things that happened last week along with this week uh, Saudi Arabia to cut oil production by 500,000 barrels per day starting in May until the end of 2023 uh, I do think that BRICS plus nations uh, and their access to some of these natural resources are not by accident you know obviously this is cutting off access to the United States and other nations as well uh, and there's more that goes along with this Russia is also doing the same Iraq cuts theirs by 211,000 barrels per day the UAE cuts theirs by 144,000 barrels per day. Kuwait is to cut off 128,000 barrels per day. Algeria cuts off 48,000 per day. And Oman, I think it is, cuts off 40,000 barrels per day. Uh, like I said, I think access to some of these natural resources is not by accident. You know, I think a lot of these nations joining BRICS nations are, you know, it's, it's a strategy move. You know, it's chess, not checkers. And the United States, for those that do live there, you know, obviously we are a very big importer, not exporter. We don't really create too much. We pretty much import from other nations. So when you start limiting access to oil and prices and things go up, there's some after effects that are associated with that. Next thing, shout out to UBS. Uh, no, this is from the same person. I'm sorry, the prepared homestead. UBS Bank to fire 36,000 employees after Credit Suisse takeover. As we've seen in the past couple of weeks, there's been a lot of major banks that have been going down. You know, I think over time, some of these brick and mortar banks will also start shutting down globally. You know, United States is starting to happen already. I'm sure it's happening in other nations as well. You know, we are moving to a digital society. So, you know, there's really no point in really having it. Next thing, India and Malaysia announced trade with Indian rupee over the dollar. De-dollarization, I've talked about this at nauseum. I'm not even gonna go down that road again. De-dollarization is happening, okay? A lot of people are trying to move away from the United States dollar and it's really showing because <laughs> a lot of these nations are joining BRICS plus nations on a regular basis. Start to open your eyes, people. Next thing, almost 400 billion in US bank deposits withdrawn during March. This is the largest loss in USA history. But it's probably nothing. They got a they got control of it. You know, it's nothing. It's nothing. Definitely nothing. Next thing, the Chinese yuan replaced the U.S. dollar as the most traded currency in Russia. BRICS nations, watch out! I'm telling you, something is going to happen. They are probably going to have to force the hand of the United States and a lot of their allies. This is just my thoughts. You can have your own opinions. You're entitled to it. Next thing, France and China sign a deal in nuclear renewable energies. Next one, top Iranian and Saudi diplomats meet in China to restore ties. I keep telling you this is chestnut checkers. Pay attention to some of these names. You're going to see some of these different nations a lot more often too when you start hearing some of these articles. Uh, next thing, uh, this is from someone else. Ripple Payment Corridor, U.S. Mexico sees a massive increase of billions of dollars into XRP technology. I think it's very interesting. It takes time. They're laying the rails in the background. They have the partnerships. You know, it's coming. I'm not worried about it. If you are, hey, all part to you, maybe you don't understand what you hold. Understand the value. You have to learn that for yourself. And the last thing I want to talk about is the IMF unveils Unicoin, a global legal tender settlement, CBDC. I did post this on my page, so if you guys want to check out the full article, it's not too long, so it's very easy to understand. Um, I just want to take an excerpt out of here because this really caught my eye. Banks will be able to utilize the new currency by attaching SWIFT codes and bank accounts to a UMM digital currency wallet. This is the key part. This enables them to conduct SWIFT-like cross-border payments entirely over digital rails. Let me read that one more time. This enables them to conduct SWIFT-like cross-border payments entirely over digital rails, accessing the best price wholesale FX rates and achieving instantaneous real-time settlement while passing the, I'm sorry, bypassing the correspondent banking system. That's pretty interesting. I recommend you pay attention. Just saying. You know, there's going to be a lot of different digital assets. Well, I won't even say a lot. I say it'll probably be a handful of digital assets, you know,